Hi and welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have to tell you this. Okay, I've been sitting here for the last like 15 minutes with a blanket up around my neck because I was cold downstairs. It's spring, my friends. But you know what that means? That means that the furnace isn't coming on. So my studio is downstairs and burr. so I've been warming up my hands. I was trying to turn the video on. I was trying, 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 trying to turn the video on and it wasn't turning off because my hands cold. So I'm rubbing my fingers together to try to get them warm enough. Anyway, yes, happy spring, my friends, and welcome. I'm Sandy of Lonely and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I'm really glad you're joining me tonight because we're going to make a card that is so versatile that you're going to you make it all the time. And I want you to stay to the end of the video because I think, how many do I have? Six more cards after the video to show you all the different variations. I mean, it's the same card, just doesn't look the same, you know? And if you're just joining, please say welcome. Or hello, please say welcome. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Please say hello. I'm just going to refresh my screen. Um, anyway... What else did I tell you? Oh, if you need a catalog, if you don't have a demonstrator, you live in Canada, and you need a catalog, contact me. I will send you a catalog. Um, I need to know by, I think I said the 25th or 26th, one of those two dates of March, because I have to do, I can only do the mailing selector with Stampin' Up! once, and it's a whole lot cheaper, less expensive for me, if I use Stampin' Up! over Canada Post. So... All right, I'm going to flip you around, and this time I'm noticing where the button is to flip you around. It's not over here where the stop button is. All right, here we go. Excuse my hand for just a moment, and then I have to move my light a little bit. Okay, turn her around. Yep, you're seeing the top of my desk. So I'm moving you forward, and I'm going to move my light in as well. They're all comfy. Let's make sure that's good. I'm trying to see how much of the desk. It looks like there's a shadow. I'll have to look at the screen. Okay. Boom, memento. And again, my hands are so cold that moving my screen is... There we go. We're perfect. And hello. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to give you the measurements. Um... Both I'm going to do two of the cards, two cards. I'm going to give you the measurements on both. Even though they're the same, sometimes it's just good to hear them twice. Or you can write them down. You can write them down, too. Um, I just, I'm going to flip that for one second. Hey, Janice. Hello, my friend. Yeah, you're here for a live. And this is a good one because it's it's a simple card that is just so pretty. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. I was like, I have to make this. So I learned this card in a Saturday, surprise Saturday, um, with my fellow demonstrator, Barb, from Just Be Stamping. And I'm not sure, she said where she got it, her the idea from, but I don't remember. All right, so we are going to start with a base. Now, it my base is four and a quarter by 11. And as you can see here, there's a score line, which means I'm going to get out my trusty bone folder. So if you don't have a bone folder, add that to your order. You need them. And if you lose them, you know, get two. <laughs> get two. Now, you can also make the card this way as well, which would be a different measurement. Very simple as well. All right. And I've written down, this time I've written everything down, I'm pretty sure. We're going to set that aside and bring in these two pieces. So the card sock, this is Mary Merlot, and I have not used Mary Mer Merlot probably since a Christmas card. You know? Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Oh, and there's Kay's card. Hello, and thank you for your share. I love when you share my videos. Everybody, when you comment, thumbs up the whole nine yards. If you're watching the replay, thumbs up, share. If you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up and share. Anyway, so here we are with Mary Merlot, and this is cut to three and seven eighths by four and one eighth. Okay, now 
for this card, you either have to use non-directional um, cardstock or use it portrait. Okay, so this will be an eighth of an inch smaller. So the DSP, which, by the way, is from a wash in beauty from the annual catalog. I love this. Here's the other side. Pretty. Um, a wash in beauty. And this particular piece is three and three quarters by four inches. That will go together. Why don't we just do that now? All right, so let's put that together. I always like to make sure... Try and put it back the same way. Now I say that, but does it happen? No. No, it does not. All right, and you know me. I don't use a ton of glue, and I still end up getting myself glue. -y. There we go. And then, oh, you know what? That's pretty much perfect. Here it is. Leave it at that. All righty. Next two pieces. Like I said, this is simple. Um, so here's the back side of this paper. Um, and this also is, this is directional. I don't find this to be terribly directional. Um, I do find this to be directional. So you're going to do this in, um, landscape because your paper's, um, wider than the top one. Um, you're going to make this one, wait, let's see this first. This is Mossy Meadow and it is two and one eighth by four and one quarter. So it's going to go side to side on the card. This piece is two times two and one and four and a quarter. And they go together. But I'll show you how. After last week's epic video, <laughs> I thought, why don't I make a, a shorter video? So, and it might be, you never know. Once I get talking, you know, it's hard to believe I'm shy. Okay, so these are going to go on the card. First piece that's going to go down, and I just want to make sure I got that even. I believe I did. Yep, I did. But you know what? I have the, um, you know when you cut and the blade is pushing down and it makes the line? I like that line to be to the inside, not the outside of my card. Alrighty, so here we go. I think I remember, oh, I do think, yeah, I did mention last week that my cards are going into a, a store here in Font Hill. And I thought, well, I better start doing the insides of the cards because I'm really bad for not doing the insides. Um, I had over 100 cards to put the insides on. Bad Sandy, so I've done that. And when I counted them, I have approximately 160 cards all right, directional. It all, this almost looks like that. This, this didn't matter in this case, but it looks like it goes this way because of the leaves. So I'm going to try and keep it that way. All right, and then this just goes on top. You can you can play with this. You can put it um, like right up to the top or close to the top. You can go make these borders all the same. That's that's up to you. So. I won't really go over that because to me, that is a personal preference. Wow, two for two. Wow. So we're getting there. Look how cute that is already. That is your layout. But you can you can change things up. Now what we need to do is a little bit of coloring because I felt like coloring. And if you remember the set, do I have it? I do have it. Nested Friends. I thought this card could use a little bird, and I just think it's cute, really, really cute. And well, I love the whole set. Um, oh, and I also used um, the sentiment um, from this set. Uh, best friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. I love that. I think that's really lovely and meaningful. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so the stamp is Sandy. <laughs> I, I had the stamp handy. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Now, you know how I usually, when I'm going to color, um, um, I use Memento Black. I'm using Basic Gray this time. It's true. Because you can do that with blends. Like, I didn't, because, well, uh, we'll talk about the colors I'm using. 
Isn't he cute? Or she. Could be she. I don't know. So that was basic gray. There's other colors you could use too if you wanted to keep it light. And then what we're using in the way of blends is, and the, I just grabbed these two, by the way, um, earlier today. So I, I didn't plan it that one would be a dark, so, dark, soft sea foam and light mossy meadow. It's just, you know, throw caution to the wind and just go for it. So what I'm going to do is use the brush tip, not the, um, I call that the bullet end. This is the brush tip. I'm going to use the brush tip and just going to do the birdie's chest. We'll go in just a little bit. I can always darken that up. Isn't that pretty? I don't even know if, I honestly don't know if these birds can be in um, a light green. I, I don't know that much about birds, apparently. All right, this one I'm also, nope, you know what? I'll use the brush tip. So this is the light mossy meadow. And now when I did this earlier, I was using my magnifying glass. So I have to tell you, in case I totally mess this up, I actually have one cut out already. Colored and cut out. Turn your paper. Because even after I'd colored it with the... Uh, magnifying glass I took an even closer look and went wow I still missed spots I I wouldn't normally have thought of putting these cards these colors together by the way but I just really think they go so I'm using the bullet end just because <laughs> I have a little more control in a in a small area I think that's colored. I can't completely tell. Like I said, I usually one color a lot closer and two use my magnifying glass. So let's see what we have here. Not bad. Here's the one I did earlier. Come to Sandy. There he is. All right. And our sentiment. So what I did is this is once again Mary Merlot. And that is the sentiment I talked about from the Nested Friends. Cut it out with one of the um, stitched rectangles. And I am going to pop this up. I'm not going to pop the bird up in that case, but it's going to look something like that. Oh, and I have ribbon. Ooh, and I, ooh, and I have ribbon. Of course I do. And I thought, even though this is pool party, this is, this is, um, oh, mossy meadow, and this is soft sea foam. It really doesn't make a difference, you know. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm just going to, and I should have done that before I put this on. So these are going to be loose ends because, yeah, I forgot. Scissors. Here we go. And I'll just cut these end to end. I'm, I'm fine with ends sticking out a bit. And I can trim that up. I just don't like to cut, like, way too much, you know what I mean? Alrighty. If you're following me on Instagram or on my um, um, Facebook page here, um, you can you'll be reminded that um, my daughter cooks a lot of stuff. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Um, I actually helped. I helped make the vanilla ice cream. I said you're not going to make me measure anything, right? Nope. All I had to do was stand there with the the beaters and just just use them, basically. And, uh, my gosh. And then I had a little taste. I know it's got raw eggs in it and that completely grosses me out, but, um, oh my gosh. So it's all in preparation for my grandson's third birthday. So, and today, okay, I'm a vegetarian and my daughter is cooking a gigantic crock pot of pork to make pulled pork. I opened windows. Okay. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. I mean, if you want to eat it, that's absolutely fine. This girl does not. I just want to, I'm, before I glue anything down, I just want to make a decision on where this is going to go. I could probably go here. Yeah, I'll just go here. So this is almost empty. We'll see what we can get out of it. So to hold my ribbon down, I'm just going to put a couple of lines of tape. It doesn't have to be all the way across. 
looks reasonably even. Wow. I know. What, does that make it three for three? <laughs> or does that not count? I don't know. Mm. Here we go. The little bird was an afterthought, by the way. Over here? Nope, over here. And I, I am sorry, I have to bring this closer to myself just to make sure it's on straight. And little birdie. Again, I'm not going to pop him up. I'm going to go down. Oh, glue this, not the paper. Just a little bit. We'll hold him. And it looks like he's looking at the sentiment, which is really cool. It's really an adorable little set. Well, I mean, it's got dies. It's not that little. Okay, and we're going to embellish. And here it is, my take a pick tool. Alrighty, and basic di basic diamonds, basic rhinds. If these were diamonds, oh my goodness, where am I going to put those? Haven't thought about it. Not down here. And I'm not even going to say why it doesn't go down here, but I'll just show you why it's not going to go there. The weird things that pop into my head, honest to Pete. Or is it heavens to murder Troy? I don't know. Oh, now, because this is going in the store, and I don't... I, I'm going to leave them blank. I'm going to leave this blank, but I'm putting the liner in right now. So this piece is... So this is four and a quarter. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Oh, oh! thank you for sharing. I appreciate that, Darlene. And it's kind of cool when, when you share it and it's live and someone's going, what? She's sharing something live right now? And you know what, that bird? I tried different colors. I tried yellow. Mm, I tried kind of the, I guess it's mango melody. I was trying to pull out like this color. I tried pumpkin pie. It, I didn't like it. It just didn't work. In the store. Oh, in a little shop in Font Hill called the Everyday Market. It's a really awesome shop. It is where my cards will be going. Yeah. So there's card number one. Oh, you know what? Trim the ends. Do it now before you forget. Snip. Oh, I forgot. I was going to give those another clean. I was cutting with something that had wet glue. <gasps> no. So it's the same store where my paper quilling is. My quilled hearts in the frames. There. See what I mean about, look how simple that is. And yet. All right, so let's do, okay, this is so not me. Let's do a masculine card. <laughs> oh, hi, Kathy. Oh, I'm glad you like that too, the bird color. You know, it's such a cool shop. If you're ever in Niagara Falls, you pop on down to Font Hill. We're like 20 minutes away. I, or is it up? We're on a hill, so. All right, so here's this card. Masculine. Okay, and I wrote down the information because I haven't used this for ages. So this is Sahara Sand, another color that I haven't used for eons. Four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And this time I do have the rough edges to the inside. Now this, same measurements. So the card stock is three and a quarter by four. The DSP, the designer series paper is three and three quarters by four and done in portrait for this one. And the paper is, now I wrote that down too. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. That's the one that comes with all those cute, cool little cutouts or pop-outs, which I have, do I have them handy? I had them in a bag today because I was looking at them going, could I use something else? Could I use something else? So you know what would this would make a perfect, not this card, not this particular card. It would make a perfect wedding card. Simple, like, like, um, where did I see it? Simple but elegant, says Kay's card. Thank you, Bondi. And love the bird. Oh, I see the share button. I don't know what you're using, um, Janice. I'm not sure if you're using a phone or your computer, but the share is just below my where I'm where you see me working. <laughs> it goes like, comment, and share. All right, so I use Sahara Sand again. I, I found a little conflict with using too much of the 
Oh, evening. Ev um, no, it isn't. Good early espresso. My apologies. Okay, so this piece, also in Sahara sand, this is um, two and one eighth. Bondi is Susan's last name. I'm so sorry. Oh, I get it. I'm. Thank you, darling. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> Bondi. I like the name Bondi too, or Bondi. Bondi, as in Bondi Beach in Australia. I did see it. Didn't get to go to it. Okay, uh, where were we? T two and one eighth by four and a quarter side to side, and again Sahara sand, um, which is in this case two inches by four and a quarter. So it doesn't have to be um, designer series paper top and bottom. And this one, do you love that? I do. That is from, I wrote it down, metal the metal plate embossing folder, which, by the way, isn't just for masculine cards. I've used it on feminine cards. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention on the last card? I will show you. I forgot to mention. So this this piece, come on, this piece, these are <laughs> old. Okay, when you're putting this piece on, this piece is a little bit bigger, and what you want to do is... You're putting it flush across the bottom. So if this was a contrasting um, cardstock, it would show up even better. All right, so this is going to go on here. Well, just the same way as last time. So side to side. And whenever I do side to side, I always, always, always stand my card up so I can get right to the bottom. You share an account with, you know what, after I read it, Susan, I'm like, yes, Susan shares an account with her husband. <laughs> Oops. I should know that. I have a <laughs> some um, people on here that uh, also share their account. So it's that's what happens when I speed read, glance over, when I'm, you know, I get myself distracted. Okay. The other thing you can do with this is you can actually just pop this right up if you want to. Um, I I want to pop up. The sentiment, and this is one of those cutouts. Let me just see if I can locate those. They were honest to Pete. They were right beside me all day, unless I moved them. Let's check. Here they are. So what I did is it's in a 12 by 12 sheet. You get two sheets of them. And I just decided to take them all off the sheet and put them in this little bag and then put them in with my DSP so I don't... Uh, so I keep these with the DSP. That made sense to me. Um, I'm not going to pop this up again because I do. Well, actually, you know what? This is very thin. So I am going to pop this up. You know, change your mind. You can change your mind right on the fly. Ooh, and I'm running out of these. Hmm. <laughs> what you going to do? Let's just cut these smaller. Cut that small. Because really, it's two layers. So I just want to see. There's the top. Okay. So I can easily make this work. And apparently, since I was a good girl and I ate my supper, I do get to eat some of my daughter's homemade chocolate with chocolate icing, ice cream with um, little teeny tiny M&Ms in it. Because that was a good girl. Yeah. That's why. That's what she kept saying. We both were saying, we all were saying to my grandson, you eat your supper and you get to have some of that yummy ice cream that mommy made. Not grandma, mommy. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I don't know if he actually ever got any. But it's good, and just because I'm cold doesn't mean I'm, you know, not gonna, not gonna eat it. Get, 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 you know, the um, the backings to the dimensionals are get everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna hold this one up because I cannot do this flat when I'm talking. So we'll go about there, about there. Stay. You know, if it's not a hundred percent perfect, that's okay. And then I'm going to put this. So this is one of those pop outs. And I'm going to glue that down. And I will put a dimensional right there at the bottom. Because it will hang over just a bit. This one's not getting any form of embellishments. I thought, 
Well, I'm not going to use rhinestones. And yes, I can put the, the dimensional on after the fact. Um, I'm not going to use rhinestones. Mm. And I do have some things I could use. I'm going to use white. I was going to just say I was going to use a different color. So these are the, the minis. So I don't want too much under there. Boop. And under we go. And there. So here's my question. I struggled with this today. See, I see this white writing here. Do I use a very vanilla background or um, inside piece? Or do I use white? See, the, I thought the Sahara sand was like, I should use that. But then this is all white in here. So I kind of think I'm talking myself into white. I know I do this all the time. I ask a question and then I answer it myself. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with white. I just feel like it. And yes, I have a whole bunch of these cut because... Um, you know, I just keep making more and more cards. Now, all the cards actually didn't make the cut, by the way. I went through some of the older cards and went, what on earth were you making? <laughs> That's not good enough. You know, we're our own worst critic. We know that, right? There we go. Alrighty. So there's that one. Nice and plain. Dad doesn't want bells and whistles. Maybe on you know, the tools or something he uses. And there's there's card number one. See, I don't like making masculine cards, so they don't often turn out super pretty, but um, I've actually made two more masculine cards. Hard to believe, but it's two. Did I tell you everything? Yes, 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 I did. Had to read the notes real quick. Okay, so here comes some more. Here's the other six. And I wrote down what they are in case you would ask me. Both are perfect. Okay. Good. Then I did not make the wrong decision. I'm just going to put a couple things away. Okay. There's one. So different than the first two, but the same layout. Now, when you put them right beside each other, of course they look the same, right? But they're not. Now this, they're not identical in every way. So this beautiful paper is from Abigail Rose, which is in the uh, main catalog. This is one of the tags. This is the um, tailor-made tags. And this beautiful sentiment, love you lots, is from Umamento. My new favorite set, Tropical Leaf. Sorry about the glare. If I tip it a little, little bit, maybe that will help. And I, this, I love the font. It stamps beautifully. It heat embosses, so I heat emboss that in white, because you know I love heat embossing. Thanks so much. Hello, XOXO, the leaves and their um, vines. And then we're guessing those are what the leaves go on. I haven't actually used those yet. Not yet. But I will be using that set soon. Um, down here, I don't know if you can see it. This is the um, time-worn type. Time-worn type folder. Yes. Oh, uh, me too, Kathy. The Abigail Rose paper is gorgeous. All right. So all the measurements are the same. And I'm really sorry, but I made this one first. This was the card I actually made during um, Barb's Saturday class. And I think maybe, I don't know, I think you were there, Kathy. I'm not sure. Um, so this is retired paper, so don't get your hopes up. This is the retired, um, well, retired. It was from Celebration. Um Oh, rats, I can't read my tiny writing. Ert, uh, Dainty Flowers DSP. And the thank you is from, did I write it down? Of course I did. Nested Friends. So I've only used two stamp sets so far. There it is. Thank you. You can never have enough thank you cards. Oh, and Darlene's asking a question. Um, Where's the tag from? Ta the tailored, tailor-made tags are in the annual catalog. There we go. Yes. Okay, you were there. So you're not surprised at the layout. Okay, so this is almost identical to this card, except on this one, I remembered to wrap the ribbon around. I used the conversation bubbles. Uh, once again, um, just as the set I showed you, this is the Hello from Tropical Leaf. It's an online exclusive, so you are not going to find that in a catalog. Um, I have the link to my shop. When you go in there, look under what's new and you'll see it there and this is the same paper up here so i used the exact same paper just they don't look alike 
Oh, the paper. I'm sorry. I used the paper from the same the same uh, pack, but it's not the same paper exactly. Okay, here comes a masculine card. What? It's true. So check that out. And you know what I discovered? The only color of cardstock I don't own is Cajun Craze. <sighs> who can believe? Who who believes that? This oh is from a different set. This is from he's the this is from he's the man. Both of these. This is one of those uh, pop outs. Um, like I showed you on the first card made, and um, the this is from the same set. The he's the he's all that, I believe, and this die is also from the the um, he's the man or he's all that. I wrote scent. I don't know why I wrote scent. I don't know what that means. Did I do anything? Oh, I did. I just ran a piece of early espresso down the side. So that one. Here's another masculine card. This one's using Ready to Ride. Is that right? Yes, it's from Ready to Ride. And um, this this paper here and this paper here and this paper here are all from the same the same set. You remember this one with the, the black? I used it with the, some roses. It was really, it turned out really pretty. Um, and, oh, the sentiment is from He's All That, and that is done on basic gray and heat embossed in white. I love heat embossing. It, it just basically, to me, takes your card from, yeah, that's nice, to wow. Anyway, I thought that might make a nice um, masculine card. And it's the same dimension. I just, this is not the same dimension, by the way. This is three by three. That's the size it is on the paper. So this is three and an eighth by three and an eighth. So it's not the same size. This die again is from that same, um, same, he's the man or he's all that. And again, I don't, oh, sentiment. That's what it says, scent. It says sentiment, not scent. Last one. Okay. So if you remember, do I have them? No, I don't. If you remember last week's card, I used that copper paper. These are going in the store, darling. <laughs> this card? This card? I think I have another one of these. Darlene's asking if she can purchase the last card. I may have another one of these. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, so this was the paper called, I, have to, I cannot remember, Naturally Gilded. It's also an online um, exclusive. So the thing with the online exclusive, we don't know how long they'll be around. Will they be around for months? We don't know. Um, I saw it, loved it. So in, I used the copper one last week. This is the silver. And I used my blending brushes. And I used um, Daffodil Delight. And a little bit of Mango Melody just to brighten her up just a tad. Up here, this is Starry Sky, which I thought looked really pretty. I know it's so much glare for you. And then when I, I, I went between the lines and I made green by accident, it happens. And then down here, I thought, I'll finish this a bit and got the green down there. So, um, again, just a little bit different. Um, this is done with one of the online exclusive um, embossing folders where you get the three. They have names. I saw it on Susan Campfield's video. Which one? I don't know. I watched a couple today. And this is definitely called Crosshatch. So we're good there. Um, and I also had a little piece of this left over from in here. I just said I had this random strip and I thought, what if I just put it through the cross hatch as well? And then what if I don't go to the, the entire end and use a little piece behind here? Um, that is from Tropical Leaf. That, uh oh, I put it away. Mm hmm. Good going, Sandy. I don't remember where that's from, but if I do find it, I will, I will tell you. And yeah. This is way out of my comfort zone, by the way. It's not a white base. <laughs> it's very bright, um, very colorful. But I, you know what? I was like, I'm not going to show it to you. And then I went, yeah, I think I am. Just because, just because it's not my favorite doesn't mean it's not your favorite. So let's go back. These were tonight's cards that I actually made right here. I think this one might be my absolute favorite. Love the tags. Love the paper. What can I say? Anyway, they're not all going to fit in the screen, <laughs> so I'll just do this. I don't know. They're not all going to fit. 
there. Something like that. That, my friends, is the video. Do I have anything else? No, I wrote, I wrote, I think I said everything that I used. Sometimes I forget because I get going and then I forget. But um, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing my video. Thank you for your comments. I will try to answer them. Um, might not be tomorrow, but, you know, I will try. Your likes and shares help me a lot. And if you are looking for anything, browse my online store and uh, link above. And I will be happy to be your creative uh, creative um, assistant. There we go. Thank you. Case card says love all your cards. Thank you so much. I'll be posting these over the next few days. Um, so on to Instagram. You'll see them better on Instagram. I think they will be on Facebook. I think they're easier to find on Instagram, mind you. Um, you are very welcome, Susan. Not Bondi <laughs> or Bondi. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Anyway, that's it. I'm off to eat some ice cream, even though I'm freezing cold. And I will see you next Tuesday for a card using some of the online exclusives, I believe. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy the spring. Get outside. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.